What's up everybody, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I've got a very quick guide for you in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on where to find the land of the skyfish. Now it's actually pretty self-explanatory. Look at the map, look at the sky and you will see a floating fish in the sky. That's it, not very difficult. It's just to the east of Zora's domain. Obviously if you haven't checked the sky map you probably wouldn't have seen it. And there's a little contraption here you can build. You can put together um, a balloon and some batteries and some kind of flame device in order to go up. If you've already got Zora's armor chest plate, which is very easy to get, if you haven't got it yet, go back and speak to the princess and follow her quest line and you will get Zora's plate. That way you can skip all of this. I'm just showing you this in case you've not done that yet. And I didn't want to kind of leave you hanging. Um, with the chest plate, you can literally just jump off the edge of this cliff, hover over to the uh, waterfall coming out of the island fish's mouth and you can just scale it up straight away. So you don't have to use this device if you didn't want to. You can see the water over there in the distance. So that's the easy way of doing it. Um, if you don't have Zora's chest piece yet, which you know you don't have to get yet, you will need it as part of the story anyway. You can just make this little contraption here and fly up into the sky. Once you get to the top, you will then need to find the droplet. Now there's two things here real quick. Right at the back of the fish, I haven't got it in the video because I didn't find this till much later. Right at the back of the fish, on the furthest side, as you're seeing it right now, on the side of it, there's a very, very small cave entrance. Inside that cave is Zora's helmet. So make sure you grab that before you come back. As I said, just walk to the end of the fish on the tail, look down to your left there, and you'll see it. Now, in order to get the droplet, all you have to do is come up to the center point of the island, look off to the side, and you will see a collection of rocks in the air that look... Uh, they've got like a blue tint to them. If you line them up in the direct, direct sort of links perspective, you will see the droplet. All you've then got to do is fire an arrow using the king scale through the droplet, and you're good to go. It goes nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need and get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, I do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.